festive season is here and weight gain is so real i know a lot of people who are probably overweight you know they usually get a bit scared when we get to december because it possibly means gaining more weight but did you actually know that you can get to enjoy the festivities without really worrying about your weight yes you can keep a few pounds off during this festive season hello and welcome back to your health talk show today we get to talk about this topic on how do i maintain a healthy weight during the festive season and with me i have my very good friend here um she is beth i know you've seen her welcome back beth Thank you so much. Yeah, so um, just tell yes. us what are we going to talk about today. All right, so we're just going to mention like a few tips that people can implement during this holiday season mm -hmm. just to maintain a healthy weight and also not to throw away the gains that they've gained throughout this year in mm -hmm. their fitness programs, right? Because January to November. Exactly. We don't want to throw all the hard work in one festive season. That's so, true. Yeah, so we're just going to mention like a few tips. Mm -hmm. um, Maybe I could just like start with one mm -hmm. and this is just like really easy, simple and fun. You can move more during the holiday right. instead of like having activities where you are calling people to your house or going mm -hmm. to other people's houses mm -hmm. where there's limited movement and more eating. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can opt for like options of going outdoors like cycle, go for hiking, bungee jumping, trampoline jumping and stuff like that. Like that keeps your body active still okay. throughout the holiday instead of totally staying sedentary. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. So tip number one, guys, is move more. So make sure during the festive season, find something to move. Don't just be a couch potato sitting and watching Netflix and chill. Find something to do. Go hiking, you say, mm -hmm. or um, instead of house parties, do something outdoors, right? Yeah. Team building, it's fun. Mm -hmm. Even to bond with your friends, mm -hmm. it's more fun. Yeah, and yeah. along the way, you're either losing a bit of weight or you're just making sure that as you, you know, eat the plenty of food that's there during the holiday season or yeah. during the parties, that yeah. you also lose it by walking around and exactly. walking around. Yeah. So tip number two is mind your beverages. Well, I know during the festive season, there's all sorts of drinks, there's lots of sodas, um, and, and I know alcohol as well, you know, and sometimes yeah. it's just through these beverages that you get to put on weight that come January, oh, yeah. you're one how did I put all this weight on? Yeah. So make sure that during the festive season you get to uh, pick wisely when you're picking your beverages, you know? So some moments here and there, maybe you can opt out for the soda and drink water instead and um, just make wise choices. Smoothies, smoothies are really good. Yes, yeah, smoothies. Can have like a good smoothie. That's true, because yeah. smoothies are quite healthy. So yeah. instead of, um, because I think one thing that people never know is you can actually gain so much weight by drinking soda. Oh yeah, oh yeah, they have like a ton of sugar. Yes. Lots of sugar. Yes. Yeah. So with your beverages, try to cut down on the high calorie beverages. So we gave you a very good example of um, sodas or even alcohol. So if you can opt out for more healthier drinks, trust me, you, you'll be grateful you made that choice come January. So what's the third tip? So another thing you can do is also be mindful of your portion sizes. Like, yeah, I know this is like a long haul. It's, it's hard to like eat one slice of pizza mm -hmm. and it's December. Mm -hmm. So what you can do is help out your body in terms of the first meal that you have every day, make sure it's a healthy meal. You know, if you feed your cells right in the morning, mm -hmm. you will have less cravings throughout the day. Mm -hmm. So it's not going to be like, oh my God, restricting yourself. Yeah. It's just going to be like, I actually don't feel like I need to eat this mm -hmm. because your cells are well fed. Yeah. When you have cravings, it means that your cells are starving of nutrients. Mm -hmm. So you can just do that simple thing. Like just make sure every day in the morning, have a healthy meal. Mm -hmm. Take something healthy for breakfast. Mm -hmm. Then throughout the day, it'll be it'll be almost effortless avoiding the unhealthy stuff or taking small portions of it because mm -hmm. you won't really feel like you want to. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And try that. So that's tip number three. And tip number four, which I feel like it ties into just what you said, yeah. is never go to a party hungry. Hey, I think that's yeah. a lesson I learned, especially in weddings. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> you go to a wedding hungry and then the reception is going to be like at 3 p.m. You haven't eaten anything the whole day. So by the time you're actually going to serve, yeah. 
Hey, by the time you're leaving there, it's like a portion for like five or ten people because of how hungry you are. So one of the yeah. tips that you can uh, make sure you include this festive season is to make sure that you never go to a party hungry. Make sure you have a healthy snack and there's a video that we have done on that topic in terms of um, just what healthy snacks are that you can pick to just have in the course of your day or you can pack when going to that party so that you make sure you have that before you go to the party so by the time you get into the party you don't overindulge as we tend to do yeah okay so on to the that's four tips right yeah that's so on to the fifth tip yeah so also when you're hosting parties because mm -hmm. um, I know there's gonna be like a lot of get-togethers maybe friends or family coming from up country or something so obviously you're gonna make a lot of food mm -hmm. okay so one thing you can try and do is don't you don't have to make all your foods unhealthy mm -hmm. first of all mm -hmm. you know feed your people healthy things mm -hmm. that good treats like I love my favorite healthy treat which is Semi healthy is fried sweet potatoes. Mm -hmm. It's sweet potatoes. It's not, and then you shallow fry them. Mm -hmm. You just glaze them, let them be like sort of gold, mm -hmm. and they are delicious. And they're more healthier than fries. Yeah. So you can try that. And also, don't just make sure you don't have like so much leftover food, mm -hmm. as well as the host. Mm -hmm. You can have like to go containers. As people are going, they serve food and carry them home, mm -hmm. especially the unhealthy, uh, unhealthy treats. Mm -hmm. Um, but minimize on that. You don't want your relatives being unhealthy either. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, but just don't be left over with so much food because you'll feel the pressure to finish that food. That's so true. you might eat a lot like on the days to come. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you can try that. All right, so on to the final tip, which is tip number six is um, as much as you find yourself overindulging, which it happens a lot, to be honest, let me confess. It does happen to me quite a lot, um, or rather a few times during the festive season, you know, cause you, you have a lot of invitations all around, you know, family, friends, get togethers. But as much as you find yourself overindulging in um, one get together or one party, it doesn't mean that should be the trend in every other occasion or party that you are invited in. So make sure that as much as you find yourself overindulging in one, don't let that be the trend throughout the whole of December, you know, just, um, I think a lot of people just sulk and um, yeah. they, they're like, well, I, I'm already back to square one, so right. why not? Um, yeah. yeah, but the main thing is make sure if you find yourself there, pick after yourself, decide in the next party, I will incorporate tip number one, two, three, four, five, exactly. to make sure I don't get to tip Very number six. Tips. Yes. Yeah, make sure every plate is guided by your goal. The goal that you're gonna have in January, mm -hmm. you know, and really, really just to emphasize this, you don't wanna throw away all the hard work you've put in mm -hmm. throughout this year in just one short holiday. That's true. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your booty is worth more than that. Mm -hmm. So let every choice of food be guided by your goal. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So don't throw away your goals just because it's a holiday. <laughs> yeah, and I know in January, a lot of people are usually concerned about weight gain. So you as a fitness um, coach, what do you have to say about the weight gain? About that, yeah. Um, weight is encompassing of so many things in your body. Mm -hmm. Your water mass, your bone mass, your fat mass, like it's all that all together. So don't get discouraged also by the number on the scale. So an advice I can give is before you commence this holiday season, um, check your stats. Many fitness gyms nowadays have a machine where you can check your body fat percentage, your muscle mass percentage. You just go to any gym and inquire if you can do a body composition test. So that even when you start January, you do it again and see what happened mm -hmm. throughout the holiday. Even if you gained weight, maybe it was not the weight that you think you gained. Maybe it wasn't fat mass or something. Mm -hmm. So that will also make your goals more specific as the year begins, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah, so that's very important. Don't beat yourself up because of a number on the scale. Make sure you get the full body composition test to see if it's body fat mass, muscle mass, that's fluctuating. All right. Awesome. Thank you so much, Beth. High five to that. Yes. So those are six tips to help you throughout this festive season to make sure that you maintain a healthy weight. And come January, you will not be back to, you know, struggling, cutting down on the weight that you will have gained during December. But that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for subscribing. Do leave your comments down there if you have um, other tips 
um, that you would love to share with us in terms of how do you maintain a healthy weight during the festive season comment down below and let us know what you think but otherwise that's it for today and until next time it's a goodbye from us Bye.